Hey, hey, everybody. This is Jen with Jen's Den Art, and I am here today just to pop in while I paint. And I wanted to say hello. It's just one of those impromptu lives um, that I did not schedule, but I'm painting something, and I thought that y'all would enjoy uh, watching me paint it. So I have this um, order that I received um, from my, I'm going to show you really quick, from my in stock paintings. And hi, Carrie, how are you? I'm just coming on here and saying happy February. And um, I'm going to be painting something so y'all can watch me paint and I'm going to show y'all how to do it. I actually painted this a couple, maybe about a year and a half ago, but it's been a really long time. And um, I'm going to show you all how to do this with uh, the paints that I have, because I don't have the same paints that I had when I painted it the first time. So, hey, Star. Hey, Julie. How are you? So we're just having a free fun for all today. Nothing special. Um, today is February 1st. Today is the beginning of my two year anniversary um, launch. So the, the tribe is going to be opening um, tomorrow to our pop-up paint party participants, which if you have not joined or if you're not painting with us, we're painting this right now in a private setting. And, um, and what's today? Monday, Tuesday. So today's Tuesday, tomorrow's Wednesday. Um, let me get this right. Wednesday. Yeah, so Thursday, do I have this right? I'm so confused. Thursday, the tribe opens. No, actually, tomorrow the tribe opens, but only to um, very few people. And then Thursday, the tribe opens to the public. So I am coming on um, just to give you a free painting for following me. Happy Lunar Year. Yep. I'm not coming on later to paint our uh, flowers until um, later, Jane. This is just an extra live today. So this is what we're painting. This is what I am getting ready to paint. Can you all see that? Okay, and I'm painting it on a 16 by 20. Okay, and there is a lot of texture on this, a lot. So we're going to be using um, some white paint. And I didn't even get my paints out yet, so let me do that. We're going to be using some white paint and some turquoise and some uh, Payne's gray and things like that. And I just sprayed down my palette. Let me go ahead and get all of this paint off. And I've already, this is, this is a purchase that somebody made from my Etsy shop. I thought I had one in stock because I usually only sell in stock items, but I had two listed for sale and both of them sold within 24 hours of one another. And I only had one in stock. So I'm having to paint this one for a customer who bought it. And so um, I figured I would come on here and just um, paint it with you. So I've already gessoed my canvas and I might have to do this in two sessions. So I might come back on tomorrow, but um, we are going to try to do most of it today. So I'm going to start, I'm looking at the original. Now this is what's, um, you know, a little tricky. I have an original that I sold, but I don't have the original anymore. So I am going to have to recreate this pretty close to the same thing that it is right now. So I'm using um, some turquoise and some Payne's gray, and I'm going to mix those two colors up. And this is what I'm going to do first. I'm going to draw out. Can y'all see the original? Yeah, y'all can kind of see it. Let me put it right here so y'all can see it. That's the original. Okay, so it's kind of it's kind of pretty cool. It kind of looks like hearts. So you would think I would be doing angel wings like hearts. So um, I'm going to just kind of give myself a sketch. Or I guess. All right, 
And then the, the middle, you can see there's a cross right in the middle. So I'm not going to worry about that now. So that kind of gives me a good guide to where I am. And hello, Lori. Hi. You're watching me package orders. Though. <laughs> That's super cool. Okay. Um, I'm going to use... I'm going to use a, a flat brush, but I want one that's, let's see, maybe this one will work. Is that big enough? Yeah, that's probably going to be big enough for what I want. Okay, so I'm going to wet the paintbrush, get it nice and moist so that it moves because right now it's kind of stiff. All right, so get it all nice and moist. And then I'm going to take these colors. This is what I have that I'm working with. I'm probably going to need some white, too. And I'm thinking I need a little bit. I know what I need. I need a little bit of green because the um, the original has a little bit of that um, phthalo green look to it. So let me add that and see what that does. Yeah. That's pretty. So I'm using uh, Payne's Gray, Turquoise, and Phthalo Green. And I do not know what that noise was. So hopefully y'all can see me okay. Yeah, I think y'all can still see me. I don't know what that noise was, y'all. <laughs> Somebody just texted me or something. All right, so I am going to fill this in. Not everywhere, but all around the outside. Now, I want to go a little bit more into the inside, too, because some of those, um, some of those angel wings are um, extremely, um, like, the ends of them look kind of feathery. And so I still want that blue color to come through so I'm gonna go a little bit further with that let me grab some more phthalo green and I'm gonna grab some white as well okay let me do this so tell me how y'all are all doing today um, I only have um, I have to go live again at five and what time is it right now I think it's only three, right? Yeah, it's 3.09. So for my time, it's 3.09. But for a lot of y'all, it's probably like 4.09 or 5.09, right? Because I am mountain time. Okay, so. How's the weather? We've been having, we have pretty much like a snowstorm happening here right now. <laughs> okay, I'm going to mix a little bit of white. And you can see that color. There we go. That's the color I want. A little bit more on the green. Let me get some water. A little bit more. There we go. Look at that. Okay, I'm going to um, paint the sides as well. So let me just go ahead and spend some time doing that. And then I'm going to start shaping it up better. Right now, I'm just kind of slapping some paint on here just to get that first layer going. But the fun part is the wings itself. That's going to be a lot of fun. And I'm probably going to use up all of this paint that I have on here. So this is a 16 by 20 canvas. And um, this is probably a very, I would say it's a pretty popular painting. Um, and it's super fun to paint. So for those of y'all who have been with me a while, you've probably seen me paint this before. I think I have a tutorial on this in the tribe library, if I'm not mistaken. So the darkness is coming from the Payne's Gray. 
the Payne's gray is a really, really dark, beautiful, kind of like a, a, a navy. I want to make sure that I do not have um, empty spots around the wings. So I'm making sure that I have enough, even if I overdo it on the blue, it's really okay. Because you can always cover it up. Let's go a little bit lighter. Okay, and that is a pretty color. Gotta paint all of these sides too. And then grab a little bit more of this phalo green. You see this? It's kind of like a, a green turquoise, and it's really, oops, I'm just about out. Really, um, probably one of the primary colors in here. And it's okay if you have, um, like, if you if you could see the picture, the one that I, I painted originally, that was, um, you know, what I used as an advertisement. You can see all of the different shades of the greens and the blues in the photos. So I'm not trying to make my um i'm not trying to make my background all one color i'm trying to kind of mix it up some so i'm just doing a fun painting today i've been meaning to do this for about two or three days and i kept on putting it off and i'm like you know what it's a perfect time for me to come live and let y'all watch me while i just like kind of free paint you know and I'm not teaching, I'm just painting. I should have put on my apron. <laughs> I went to Hobbit Lobby today, big damage control. <laughs> Elizabeth, you're funny. Okay, so let me go ahead and fill in all of this that needs to be filled in. Notice I switched the, the way I'm holding my brush now. Just because it's more comfortable for me to start working like that. Can y'all see okay? Yep, you sure can. I need to make a trip to Hobby Lobby, but I keep on putting it off because the weather has been so nasty here. And it's a good 40, it would probably take me about an hour to get there with this kind of weather. We've been having like blizzard weather lately. And tonight it's supposed to be negative 10, I think. Okay, so I want this area right here to have that curvature look. Okay, just 
shaping it up right now. I think it's a great beginning not sure I'm gonna come all the way down here so I'm just giving myself some more green and yellow I'm uh, not yellow <laughs> green and blue down there okay so that's gonna be my first layer I lost their boyfriend yeah this um this painting sells really really well all right, so I do not have on hand, I do not have heavy body white paint. I have um, kind of like a liquid acrylic paint. Okay, can y'all see that? Let me show you right here. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to use some, um, let me see if I can find it. I didn't grab my stuff before I started. I am going to use my a little jar here it is i'm going to use my um thickening gel it's called liquitex thickening gel okay and i'm going to put my white paint on my palette it's kind of liquidy and i need it not to be liquidy so i'm going to mix a little bit at a time this thing is just about empty. That's why I'm making that noise. I'm going to mix and I'm going to talk to you about what I'm going to do. I'm going to mix a little bit at a time with this thickening gel. And so I'm going to take a little scoop of it like that. And I'm going to take all of my paints. See all the whites I have. Can y'all see that? Yeah, you can. And I need my paint to be a little thicker. You can use a gel medium. That would work as well. But I like this thickening gel. I like what it does. So when you first put the thickening gel in it, it kind of almost looks like, um, like cottage cheese. But if you continue to work it in, it'll get thicker and thicker and thicker. And so that's what I'm doing right now. I'm pulling a little bit at a time. See how much thick it is. And I'm going to show you the difference. See, this is the way it was. And then see how much thicker it is now. So it's got a much thicker consistency. It can almost be even thicker if you want it to be. Okay, it looks like sour cream. And I'm going to have to mix over and over to get enough to, because this is going to take a lot of white paint. I'm going to have to mix over and over, but I'm just going to do a little bit at a time because um, acrylics dry so fast. So this is one of the things that I need to be able to do this. A, a rag. Okay, this is, this is just an old rag that I have. It's not anything but like an old shirt that I don't wear anymore. And now it's a rag for me. So I'm going to take my palette knife. And I want a palette knife that has a pretty big rounded edge. Okay, I'm not, I'm thinking this might be too big. You'll see that. And this might be too small, but I don't think I have anything in between the two. Um, what I used for the original painting, I don't know, because it's, it's like an, probably a year and a half since I painted this painting. And ironically, I sold both of them just this past week. Okay, now this one might do. This one might do right here. See this one? So I'm going to experiment just a little bit when I start. And this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the back side of my palette knife and I'm going to fill it with my paint. And I'm looking at... I'm going to start at the bottom and work my way up 
because as I go up, the little feathery things are like on top of each other and on top of each other and on top of each other. So I'm going to just take my palette knife and I'm going to pull and I'm going to reload and I'm going to pull and I'm going to show y'all if y'all want me to come in. I don't think I can come in any closer. Let me see if I can. I don't think I can. This uh, camera's not going to let me. Okay, time out. I'm going to give myself a little bit of a, a guide. Let me come here. Let me come all the way around here. And then these are going to come out. Like this. All right. So this is the easy side because I'm right-handed and it's going to work well. So you see how I'm just kind of, see how I'm putting a good bit of paint on here? And I'm just pulling. I'm going to have to come back and fill in some of this if I'm not careful. So I already, I already remember what I did last time. Some of these, um, some of these angel wings are going to be a little transparent. And so after it dries, I'm going to come back and fill in these little feathers with like a little bit of gold and a little bit of blue and a little bit of white and see I'm already out of paint. So you see how much paint it's going to use. Let me bring you in a little bit so you can see how it's working out. I gotta unplug. Oh, I can't unplug. This one does not allow me to unplug. So let me just bring the actual canvas in. You see that? Oh, I need to finish my sides a little better, huh? <laughs> so you see how you can see some of the, the blue through it? Some of that's going to be fine, but I'm probably going to want to fill in, like after it dries, I'm probably going to want to come back with a little a really thin layer of white paint or gold paint or something like that over it because look this is where I'm going with it I still have a lot to do it's not just a little you know a quick painting I still have a lot to do but you can see all of the layers I think you did long one last time what do you mean I think I did long one last time oh the palette knife probably yeah yeah okay so let me do one i'm going to do one more um mix of white paint and then i'm gonna finish the rest later so let's mix some, oh this is another good palette knife that would work well you see this plastic one they're about the same width i'm going to try the plastic one next let me put it in the water and get all that pink off of it um, because I'm going to use a little bit more of this thickening gel because, um, the, uh, the plastic palette knives, they are more, um, flexible and I think they might work better. So I'm going to try it. It's not much different than the one I'm using now. So I'm not worried about it being totally different, 
since I already started with one palette knife and I'm going to be switching to a different one. So can y'all see this? It's like super, super, super. It's just making the paint thick for me. So that stuff that I'm using, not a lot of people use it, but I love it. It's called Liquitex Thickening Gel. Um, it comes in a jar and it's kind of hard to find actually, but I love it. And you have to work it in well, or it's going to be kind of, it's going to kind of look like, um, almost like cottage cheese. You can tell it's like a little bit lumpy, but once you work it in, see how I'm working it in? Once you work it in, it's like sour cream. All right. So let's go again. I'm going to use this one. Let me switch. And I stuck it in the water for a little while because it had some old pink paint on it. And I don't want that pink paint to um, come off onto my painting. So I just laid it in the water and then I took my rag and I wiped it all off and it came right off. Okay. So here we go again. Yeah, this one's a little bit thicker. I'm not sure I want this one. I'm going to try it, but I have a feeling I'm going to go back to my other one. I'm going to make one go kind of like that just to be different. Oops, too much. See, I have a little bit of blue paint in there that's streaking out. That's okay, don't worry about that because you can always, once it dries, if you don't want that blue streak in there, which I think actually looks pretty darn good, um, you can just cover over it with white paint once it dries. Okay, I need to start coming up with my strokes instead of out. Yeah, they're, they're kind of going out a little bit more than that one. So I'm going to start coming in this way. To the end of my paint. All right, I'm going to switch to a little bit of a smaller palette knife. The end of the palette knife is going to be just a teeny bit smaller. Let's see. This might be too small. I'm going to try it and see what works. tricky part to blend it in all together up here.
Yep, I don't like this one. Let's go back to the other one I had. have to maybe come a little bit further out with it. I'm just about out of paint. So I'm going to get on this side. And if you mess up like I just did, it's okay. You can always while it's still wet, you can always go back and kind of make I want a couple more just right in like this. Kind of coming over making a little bit all right. One more here. Okay, I'm going to stop on that side for now. And I say I'm going to stop and then I go again, huh? I always do that. Oops, I just messed up, but that's okay. I want a little bit, there's like a little bit of splatter on it, and that's fine. See, I want a little bit of splatter. So if I have a little bit of a mess up in here, going to be okay. Okay. Even if that, I don't, I don't really care about that. I can fix that. It's no big deal. All right. So, oh, I'm too low. So that's in my first side. I've only done one side so far. I'm probably going to finish this tomorrow. I'm going to let that dry and then I'm going to come back and add, I'm using gold and some magenta gold and magenta a very 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 little of magenta i see in it but i do see a lot of that it's like a metallic gold coming through in it and then some of the turquoise as well so that is the beginning of my angel wings and i just wanted to share that with all of you and um let you see what i was working on behind the doors of the studio um we are going to be going live again at five for our pop-up. Can you, can I show the jar? Yes. Um, for our pop-up paint party, we're going to be going live at five. My, my time is five. Your time, oops, let me see if I can get this right. It is, um, doo -doo -doo -doo. this is so hard, it's backwards. Um, it is called Liquitex. Thickening gel. It's a gel additive is what it says. I can take a picture of it and put it on my page too. Um, so yeah, and this thing, I've been having this for literally like two years. And since I started using heavy body acrylic paints, I don't take this out very often. But um, when all I use, when I first started painting, all I used was craft paints, and craft paints are so runny, especially like your, um, what's the names of them? I don't know. You know the bottom. The, some of the craft paints are just so runny, and I like to paint with thick paint. So I started buying this to mix in my paint, and um, yeah, it works great. I just hadn't been using it in a while. So you can also get molding. Modeling paste, I have that, but it's too, it's too thick and gritty for what I'm doing. It, it's sandy and it just doesn't, this is like, this is literally like sour cream. It feels like you're painting with sour cream. It's almost the same exact consistency. And that depends on how much you put in your, in your paint. But um, you do not need a lot at all. Y'all saw what I put. It was very little. Um, 
for like a, a fourth of a cup of paint, you probably put like the top of my, my pinky fingernail in a fourth of a cup of paint. And it gives you that, um, that sour cream consistency. Um, the colors you need tonight, Elizabeth, are the flower colors. I don't have the sheet. Oh, I do have the sheet right in front of me. Well, not right in front of me, but <laughs> at the at the copier. Let me see if I can find it. I've got all my tax papers I printed today. Yeah, here it is. So what did we say we need for tonight? We need um, whatever colors you want your flowers to be. So we're going to need like a naphthol crimson, a primary red. Um, a naphthol red light is like a bright orange red, which is going to be one of the most beautiful colors on the painting. It's like a bright orange red. Um, some type of blue, cerulean blue, cadmium orange, magenta, cadmium yellow, dioxanine purple, which is a super, super bright, vibrant violet color. Oh, it's gorgeous. And permanent green light we used last night, but we'll probably use it again tonight. So that is what we're going to be doing because we're going to be making all of these different colors of flowers tonight. We're probably only going to work on half of them tonight, and um, then we'll work on the other half tomorrow night. So, yeah, thank you all for coming on. Remember, the tribe is opening up very, very soon. So stay tuned because I will be back again and we will have some um some guests that i am interviewing over the next few days so stay tuned and i will be back y'all have a great day all right see y'all soon bye yes i can see your name cindy <laughs>